Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do a day in the life, my work day routine, come to work with me as a dog groomer. So we are starting at 6.36 in the morning. That is when I usually like to get up for work. So here I am really trying to get up. The night before, I didn't go to sleep until almost 2.30 in the morning, so I'm on very minimal amounts of sleep, so I was very, very tired this morning, but still got to go to work, still got to get it done. So I'm just grabbing half of my work clothes and we are going to head downstairs and get ready in my second bathroom. I like to get ready down there because it's close to my coffee machine, the door, Everything else I need to get ready for work is down there, so we are going to head downstairs, turn on the kitchen light, and of course turn on my coffee machine because that is an absolute must. I drink coffee every single day, and especially on work days, I always, always have coffee. And then we're going to head into my bathroom. And of course, first thing is first, we're gonna take care of a little bit of business. And then after that, it's time to get dressed. So first, I'm just going to pop on my socks. I do actually wear two pairs of socks on my feet. And the reason for that is because I do stand on my feet all day long and my feet get really, really swollen and sore. So the more compression and the more I have wrapped around my feet, it really Really helps I do have compression socks as well so if I have like a really big busy day I will wear compression socks as well but usually I will just wear two pairs of socks I know that probably drives some of you nuts but it's what works for me next I'm just popping on my work pants and my smock really good perfect grooming wear it's not the most flattering thing it's kind of all baggy on me but it works great for the work day and dogs don't really care what you look like so now that we're dressed we are going to brush my teeth and wash my face this is like the part of my morning routine where I really start to wake up brushing my teeth and washing my face usually works really well and I usually wake right up and I'm just rinsing my face with water. I don't wash my face in the morning, I just rinse it with some warm water just to get kind of the, you know, sleepies off, I guess. And I'm just going to dab my face dry and we are going to get started on one of my skincare routines in the morning. I always use my Jeffree Star Skin Under Eye Cream. I always use that every morning. It really helps kind of make my eyes look a little bit brighter, get rid of some of that puffiness, especially since I don't sleep very well at night. Getting rid of that puffiness is definitely a must. And while that sits and soaks into my skin, I'm going to do my hair. So every single night I sleep with a braid in my hair, just a simple braid. So I'm just letting that out and running a brush through my hair. And depending on the day and depending what I'm feeling like, I do my hair differently every time. Sometimes I just leave it down. Sometimes I put it up in a bun. Sometimes I wear a headband. And today I kind of just wanted to leave my hair down, but I wanted my hair out of my face. So I decided to go with a headband to keep my hair out of my face. So I'm just pinning my bangs back and then I am deciding between two different color headbands, whichever one kind of matches my smock that day. So it was between this kind of like pinky coral one and this purple one and I decided to go with the purple one just to kind of keep my hair and bangs out of my face but also still able to have my hair down. Since I am a dog groomer and it is a very hairy, wet, warm environment that I'm in all day, I don't really do anything super fancy with like my makeup or my hair because by the end of the day, everything is just kind of all jumbled and crazy. So I just do simple. I try to look professional, but without doing a full glam, if that makes sense. So before I do my makeup, it is coffee time. So I like to have my coffee done and ready before I do my makeup. That way when my makeup is done, I can just head out the door. So I always have a dark roast with coffee. Dark roast is definitely my favorite and I'm just getting my coffee cup ready here.
And once my coffee is done, I use three different things in my coffee. I put collagen in my coffee every single day, and then I use a powder creamer and a liquid creamer. So first things first is I put a very heaping spoonful of collagen in my coffee. I really like this stuff. It doesn't have a flavor to it and it dissolves really fast and it's good for you. So I always put that in my coffee. And then I follow it up with my Coffee Mate Chocolate Cream Coffee Creamer Powder. Uh, this just gives a really nice chocolatey taste. And then I like to top it off with the Peppermint Mocha Liquid Creamer. I am, my coffee is so incredibly unhealthy. I am very much aware of this, okay? Like, if anything is going to kill me, it'll be the way I make my coffee because it is intense. I really like it to be dark, rich, strong, but have a chocolate flavor to it. So after giving it a taste test and giving it the good to go, I put the lid on and now my coffee is done and ready to go and now we can get started on the makeup. So for my makeup, it is very, very simple. I use eyeliner, mascara, and sometimes my brows. Since my hair was up behind a headband, I did decide to fill in my eyebrows today because I look a little bit goofy if I don't fill them in. So whenever my face is exposed, I fill in my eyebrows. But if I have a day where my bangs are down, I don't fill in my eyebrows. My eyeliner is by Hard Candy, the brow pencil is by e.l.f., and then my eyelashes, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Eyelash Curler, which is hands down one of the best eyelash curlers I've ever tried in my life. It's so good. <laughs> And halfway through my mascara, I had a little unexpected visitor. I had a jackhammer in my uterus and sure enough, Aunt Flo came to town. So I had to uh, pause there and grab a little feminine hygiene product and uh, take care of that business. And of course, washing my hands after. And this is what my makeup looks like for work. So really simple. I don't wear any sort of like powder or foundation on my face, just brows, eyeliner, and mascara. And that's, that's what works for me. One of the last things I do before I leave for work is I get my puppies up out of bed. They really like to sleep in. I have a really hard time getting them up in the morning. Uh, I get them up out of bed and we go to the bathroom. So here we are doing our, our morning business. My dogs usually, since I have small dogs, they only poop about one to two times a day and they never have to poop in the morning. So I just take them out for a quick pee and bring them back inside and they usually run right back upstairs and go right back to bed. They do not, especially Jackal, he is not a morning person at all. And now it is time for me to get my shoes on and get ready to head out the door. Yes, I wear Velcro shoes. Um, <laughs> the reason for that is these are actually kid shoes, but I like these boots because I'm able to tighten them really well and they fit my feet really good. So yes, they are Velcro. I know that's probably weird, but they are kid shoes and most kid shoes are usually Velcro. So <laughs> uh, that is the reason for that, but they make my feet feel a lot better throughout the day. And now it is time to head out the door and get in the car and go to work. So I'm just walking to my car and then I always put my stuff in the front seat right next to me just to make sure I have everything right there. Of course, the coffee gets in his car seat. <laughs>
and usually right in the morning I always have to turn the heat on it's that time of year where in the morning you have to have the heat on and in the afternoon you have to have the AC on so I am turning on the heat turning on some morning radio and getting my sunglasses on and we head off to work so let's go and get this day started Okay, so it is now 7.34 in the morning. I just pulled into work. I don't technically have to clock in until 8 o'clock in the morning, but I always get to work early. Uh, that's just who I am. I'm always early, so I am here super early. I am just going to sit and have a couple sips of my coffee, hit my vape, and find a Midol because my cramps just started this morning and so did my period. So uh, we're going to jump on that right away. So I'm gonna search in my little bag here and see, hopefully I have a Midol in here. I don't know, oh yes, I do. Here we go, I have one Midol left. So I'm gonna take this puppy because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. And then I'm going to text my boyfriend and let him know that I made it. That's just something that I do every morning. I always let him know that I made it to work. Just like a little safety measure that we take whenever he goes somewhere or I go somewhere, I always let him know when I actually make it to the destination. So usually on a normal day, I am here from about 7.30, 8 o'clock till about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. Um, sometimes if it's really busy, sometimes I won't get out of work until 5. Um, there's been a couple instances where I've been here from like 8 to 6. <laughs> but today is a pretty low-key, easy day. Um, all the dogs that I have today are regulars that I've done before, so it shouldn't be you know, it shouldn't be too dramatic. I do five dogs a day, two doodles a day. That's my limit, but it's always just five dogs a day. Uh, that is all I can handle mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So I do five dogs and it takes me, depending on like the size and the breed and temperament, their hair type, uh, you know, sometimes it can take me seven to nine, 10 hours. So, but I feel like today I should get out at around 3 34 o'clock just going off of who I have today I have two Yorkies I have a golden retriever and then two schnauzers and out of the two schnauzers there's only one that is kind of a problem I have to muzzle him for his nails but everyone else is pretty good pretty decent and I do have a bather as well so my bather comes in at 8 o'clock but since I get here early sometimes I always start my first dog in the tub and then I spend the rest of the day just grooming and and I always put in my headphones. I have just Samsung Bluetooth headphones that I wear and I will literally just listen to podcasts, YouTube videos, true crime, the whole time while I'm grooming. But since I am filming my day today, I'm gonna be filming it on my phone. So 
I probably won't have a lot of time to listen to my podcast today because I'm going to be filming most of my day today at work. So but yeah, I am just going to get all of my stuff and we will head into work. So let's get the day started. Happy Wednesday. So once I clock in and I'm ready to work, the first thing I do is I put the filters on the air conditioner and turn that AC on because it gets very, very warm and humid in a grooming salon. So the air conditioner and the water heater get turned on. I get the water ready, get that started to warm up for all of the dogs. I unlock my tools and just get out what I know I'm going to need right off the bat. So my 40 blade, my 10 blade, my nail clippers, you know, all that stuff. And then I get my schedule out and I check my notes, make sure I have everything that I need. And I actually had a little bit of extra time this morning, which very rarely happens. So I actually had time to deep clean all of my blades. So this is an ultrasonic cleaner. I do clean my blades every day, obviously, but I never have time to give them like a deep, deep clean like this. So I just soak them in the ultrasonic cleaner. It just has hot water and some like barbicide in it. And I let those soak and it basically kind of like cleans and loosens up any like debris that may be stuck deep inside the blade and then I just rinse them down with water you can kind of see all of the stuff coming out of the blades like that was just deep down inside the blades which is crazy so they definitely needed a really really big deep clean this day and then after my blades are clean I spend a lot of time drying them because otherwise they will rust so whenever you do deep clean your blades like this you need to make sure that they are absolutely bone dry after you're done and then I oil every single one of them and all my blades were successfully deep cleaned which felt so good because I haven't been able to do this for a while. Usually every day I spray my blades down with clipper side which still cleans them but it doesn't get them as deeply cleaned and like like new like this technique does so I was really excited that I got to do this today. And then it was time to start the first dog of the day. So this little girl I have not seen in a very, very long time. She is very overgrown. She had some pretty significant matting on her chest and on her ears. So she needed a desperate cleanup. And here comes a tick because I really wanted to show you guys how important flea and tick preventative is. We pulled off a massive tick off of the base of her tail. And as you can see, it was still moving around in there. And me and my coworkers started this little jar, our little groomer snow globe, if you will, of alcohol. And we just put all the ticks that we pick off dogs in that jar. Like, so please, please, please get your dogs on flea and tick. Every time around this year, I am constantly picking ticks off dogs. So please make sure you're doing that. So since I have not seen this little girl in many, many months, her owner wanted her really, really short all over. So I'm going over her entire body with my 10 blade, uh, just all over her body, her legs. I'm also using a different 10 blade for her sanitary areas. I trimmed her nails, did her paw pads, and then I took my five blade on the top of her head. And then I believe I used my two guard comb or my three eighths, I used that on her ears and I trimmed her ears to the leather and just kind of rounded her muzzle a little bit just to get her short all over, but not completely bald, if that makes sense, and just really got her cleaned up because she came in in pretty rough shape. Her harness was covered in mud, she was covered in mud. It was just not pretty. So she desperately needed to clean up really, really bad.
And then I also use my 10 blade on the inside of her ears just to kind of clean up the hair in there so her ears can get proper airflow. She didn't have an ear infection, but I was kind of worried about, you know, I didn't know when I was going to see her again. So I wanted to make sure that her ears were completely clear of all hair. Alright, and then here she is all finished up. It was hard to get a, a good after shot because she was so wiggly when she was done. She felt so much better. We did also wash her harness, so that's what that fan, that fan is pointing up at her harness to kind of dry it off a little bit. And then my receptionist was in a meeting, so I decided to call her mom myself and let her know that she was all done with her groom and she was ready to be picked up. And I just explained, you know, what we did. I did tell her that we found a tick on her that we were successfully able to remove and just let her know, you know, other things like we did do her anal glands. So I let her know that her anal glands were full and, you know, what haircut I did and just things like that. So after calling her mom and letting her know she's ready, it was time to move on to the next dog. This is one of the two schnauzers that I had this day and they don't get breed standard schnauzer cuts. They get kind of like modified cuts. So I basically take her body and her head and ears down in a five blade and then her legs, I leave them longer. They're, I usually leave them longer but today she had quite a bit of matting in her legs, so I did have to take her legs down one length shorter than I usually do. And I try to leave the schnauzer pattern on the legs, like that kind of angle, but I don't give her any furnishings or a skirt or anything, and she does get a schnauzer face as well. And here she is all done. I know it's kind of hard to see, but she really had to use the bathroom. So I just decided to get some after shots of her outside. She definitely looks a lot better than when she came in and she is clean, fresh and mat free, which is the most important thing. And this was not one of my dogs that I groomed. This was one of my bathers dogs, but he is one of my favorite dogs that we have. This is CJ and he is a puggle, I believe. And as you can see, he's a very chunky boy, but I just thought it was cute how his ears were flowing in the fan. He just, he's so precious. I love him. And then it was time to move on to my sh second schnauzer of the day. This one is the brother of the other one that I just did, and he's he's a good boy for grooming, but he can be a little sketchy, so you kind of have to go a little bit slower with him. He doesn't really appreciate sudden movements, and I do have to muzzle him for his nails because he does not like that, and he goes absolutely ballistic. So I'm just brushing him out. He had quite a bit of matting on his legs as well, so I tried to brush out what I could, but I did also have to take his legs, I believe one or two lengths shorter. But just like his sister, he gets a five on the body and the head and the ears. He gets the schnauzer face. And I think I used a half inch guard comb on his legs. And it's very interesting because his hair type is a lot more straight and fine compared to his sister. His sister has more of like a schnauzer coat, but his is a little bit more difficult to cut and make it look good and even because it, it kind of reminds me of Yorkie hair. Like it's very thin, it's very straight, it's very human feeling. So, and hair like that on a dog is very, very hard to cut and make it look even but he definitely looked a lot better than when he started. So, and that's all that matters in pet grooming. As long as the dog is healthy, cleaned up, then that's all that matters.
And on average for me personally, it takes me about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to complete a groom, depending on the type of dog, the hair type, the condition, the temperament, things like that. Each dog that I did today in this video took me about an hour to get done. So after he gets some doggy cologne, he is all finished with his groom. He did really, really good today. I was very, very proud of him. And he pees immediately after the groom is done. So I have to let him outside right away or he will pee all over the floor, all over the table. So I make sure he goes pee outside. And that is the end of my day. I basically just spend the rest of the time cleaning and it's time to clock out. Hello. Okay. See, and now is when we turn on the AC. All right, so it is 2.34 in the afternoon. I am leaving work now. So today went a little bit differently than I was expecting it to. So I was supposed to have two drop-offs at seven o'clock and they're from the same family, uh, but they had to cancel due to like an emergency or something. Um, I hope everything's okay because they're usually like really punctual all the time. But they had to cancel, so that turned my five dogs to three because it was a family of two. So I only had three. I had the two Schnauzers and that little Yorkie like you guys saw. I wasn't, I wasn't overly happy with any of the grooms that I did today. Uh, that's just a me thing mostly. Um, I'm not usually happy with a lot of my grooms that I do, but uh, the Schnauzers, they were kind of matted. Like they had some mats in their face, so their face didn't really turn out that good. They had mats in their legs, so I had to take their legs shorter than I usually do. So it was just kind of like, blech, and it was a lot. But um, I'm done, the day is done. I was able to take some extra time and clean my blades really good and take my time on each dog. So yeah, now I am going to head home. <laughs> Good boy. Get it, Juggleberry. Get it. Boy, yeah, 
Jackal is still doing really good. Um, he's been off of all of his meds for like a week now. So if you guys have been following that journey, then that's the update. He's still doing really good. Thank God. But yeah, that is the day in the life getting ready with me for a day at work. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to talk over them playing because they're playing right now. Basically what I do when I get home from work is I get out of my uniform and I make something to eat and I just chill and do YouTube stuff. So that's basically a day in the life of um, a dog groomer following me to work. Oh, and if anyone's gonna ask, my smocks that I wear, they are by the brand Ladybird. I love Ladybird smocks. I think they're like 40 to $50 a piece. I have four of them and I just kind of alternate during the week which one I wear, but yeah, the, that's the smocks I wear are by Ladybird, and my pants, hair resistant pants, are by Max and Molly. These are really nice. They're not the most flattering thing, but they're hair resistant and that's all that matters. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it, so for whoever requested this, thank you very much. I had a really good time filming it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please go down and give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see similar videos like this. If you are not, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos from me. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Mwah.